Anatomy is the foundation of medical science. The best way to study the human body is actually through human dissection. And even with digitalization, simulations, virtual reality or augmented reality, it still cannot completely replace the exploration of the human bodies through dissecting a silent mentor. Having silent mentors who were living, breathing human beings with their own aspirations and their relationships with their friends and family. We can teach the students the humanistic aspects of medicine and not just the scientific knowledge about human anatomy. We hold a pledge where the students and their teachers would stand next to the silent mentors. It's a way for the students to express their gratitude and respect for the silent mentors. At the end of each academic year, uh, we hold a silent mentor appreciation ceremony where all the students would come together to show their appreciation through singing, through dancing. We also invite the family members of the silent mentors so that they know the generosity of their loved ones is actually met with a lot of gratitude from the students. After that, when we carry out cremations for the silent mentors and sea burials, we encourage the students to come and take part in these activities so that they can accompany the silent mentors on their final stage of their journey. Father um, dedicated his post retirement life to serving. At the age of 85, he was, um, it was getting to the point that he could continue with that. So he, that's the time he thought that, why don't I donate my body? Let it be used for educating the medical students. And then he said, I'm gone, I'm dead, I'm gone. Why are you going to burn me immediately? He googled and things and uh, he found that there is a, a meaningful way of uh, using the body after life. So he did that. My uh, mother followed. She's at the university now. I've, I'm also pledged. So I'm also a registered donor. My brother is registering now. It's been planned so well by NUS, by MOH. I get emotional. You guys have done a wonderful, the way the respectfully, uh, all, all arrangements are done, kept kept me posted what's going on. There was a respect behind it. It was not just a use and dispose of, but with a lot of respect. And thank you all for that. Today I came to send off one of our silent mentors because I was a participant in an elective dissection program that was offered by our Department of Anatomy. When we go into the operating theatre as surgeons, we cannot really think of the body as parts. We have to think of it as a whole. And that's one thing that I feel that the dissection program uh, has done amazingly, in fact, more than anything that we've done so far in the past year. I was really touched by all the silent mentors who donated their bodies. This is a nice way to give my thanks to the silent mentors. Through the dissection, I'm able to see like the specimen as a whole, like in a 3D, and feel it, touch it, feel the texture, feel like how it's supposed to feel and how it's not supposed to feel. It really gives us the full picture of what like anatomy is, like, and I felt that it's really completely irreplaceable compared to signing for some textbooks. I found out this, about this silent mental program uh, when my friend introduced it to me back during COVID period. And when she actually told me about this, I jumped at the idea because it was something that at the end of the day I could give back to medicine. That when I actually asked my friends to sign their papers, right, it was because my family were against it. My husband actually said to me, Do you give a thought for our daughter how she will feel one day when your body is donated to science and then, you know, she has nowhere to go to see you? I didn't tell my daughter for one year later. And I only actually managed to speak to her about it when we were at NUH. We were walking past this wall where they were talking about organ donations. And my daughter was asking me, when I grow up, can I do this? And that was when he actually hinted me to talk to her about what I did, what I signed up for. And she actually said one thing to me. She said, wow, mommy, you're my hero. So yeah, that, that was my encouragement. Being a silent mentor, to be honest, it's actually nothing to be afraid of. But in fact, 
fact, I think it's a good thing. Currently, diseases are evolving in the sense of way that we have no idea what is happening. So, you know, when you think my body, they can find a cure, why not?